Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to Bioshock Remastered. Let us continue. So, last time we dealt with Cohen and we got the irony achievement, but I kind of missed a couple of other achievements. And I certainly used up all my machine gun ammo and Watch yourself. Ryan uh, Storen. handgun we ammo. Keep to our it's time to either run the table or go home empty. Ryan's got the genetic key to Rapture. We get that from him, and we get out of this hellhole. We don't, then you and I are ghosts. So, the now only way to escape... to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch. It's time to finish this. Well, I guess it's a slight spoiler alert to say that it's not that easy. I see Cohen's lost his touch. Man, that's a lot of man. audio logs right next to each other. He used to believe in the work, in the struggle. And now, he rots in that Neverland, waiting for someone to come and tell him he still got it. I suppose that's why he let you live. Ironically, I did not let him live. So, like... I guess That's we're in a decent place. I I assume it's like buying regular bullets or buckshot bullets don't really make the most amount of sense. If I was to hack it, that's like a max hack right there. I suppose you could get the idea that this might be the end, but we know there's three little sisters. So, we have to at least do that. Where are these people making all the sound? They must all just be slightly away from where I am. Or un unable to pathfind. Office of Andrew Ryan. So, and this is just two paths I could have taken. Little crawling lobsters. Now, the interesting thing that could be argued here is I think the depiction here is actually completely wrong. They show say we're about 20 fathoms at uh, below the sea, so I don't think that's anywhere c close enough to be bedrock for where this area is. It would have to be some kind of shelf, and I don't, I don't think like crabs and lobsters and half the things we're seeing would be down that low. It, it, it's all kind of fantasy, I know, but and well, it's a fantasy game, of course, but. It's just less than completely accurate. Of course, if it was full of angler fish and the like, not many people would probably react as well to that. You can taste it, can't you? Andrew Ryan. I traded you, oh lord, for mammoth. And what did it get me, huh? Let's see, we're just slowly making... What is this guy, by the way? I still haven't fully researched Nitro Splicers or Little Sisters. 
and I think the bouncer too. So, what else do we have here? Oops. And again, we're back to hacking. Let's see. We're looking for the one curve piece that will help us. Here, we need another curve piece. Oh, I may not have another one. There we go. Um, this one, this one, this one. I may not actually have the, enough pieces. I'll last chance pulled it out. Could I jump up to like this area? See, this doesn't quite feel like it's something I could crawl up to. Let's go decide that if anything we want to purchase. Like, machine gun ammo again. Crawl up here and see what we can find. That gets me up there, but nowhere else. And again, my preparation of hacking the machine. Well, nice, it's not really doing anything useful. Just getting a little bit of money, a little bit of invent items both of which are systems that combined should have been one better system it seems repetitive and like splitting the right choices wouldn't it be weird if this was where the game ended in the remastered version and everything I'm expecting to happen just happens differently. I spent the afternoon trying to get as close to Ryan's game as possible without making a spectacle of myself. He's got a shield at six ways to Leicester. There's no way into that base. All I got for my trouble was the hairy eyeball from Ryan's splicer mates. What's the reward you get for trying to outsmart the best electrical engineer of our generation? So we've got <laughs> all kinds of grenades getting dropped down this tube. Anything else want to fall down that tube? We've got this female splicer voice being omnibus. Um, I don't think I pronounced that word right. Ominous? Yep. So there's a security camera. And I can't get up around it this way. So I'll wait till it decides to go the other way. And then just... Hack it. Hack that thing to bits. Ooh, gotta find the right path, eh? Come on. Here we go. One more piece 
this way. This way. Alright, that one's now on our side. Again, we're just trying to make the most of it. Is it worth hacking this to maybe make an auto hack? I don't have enough things to make an auto hack anyways. Mm, I don't think I need electric gel. This bloodlust I need some enzyme samples for. And I do want to get that because that's a, a tonic. There's another thing too difficult to hack. It keeps pointing towards his office, but it's yeah. quite the difference. The worm looks up and sees the face of God. But look around. It's a regular convention of worms in here. They all had mothers, fathers, people who loved them. They got married, their wives. What makes you think you're any different? I haven't chosen the spot for you on the wall yet. Let me know if you have a preference. I never killed a man, let alone a mason. But this is what things come to. I don't know if killing Mr. Ryan will stop the war, but I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan. Well, I love Ratchet. If I have to kill one to save the other, so, each of these people tried to stop Andrew Ryan and failed. Or at least in his mind tried to stop him. I had to go jungle style with that filthy ape for three weeks, but he finally spilled the beans on how to get to Andrew Ryan. Generate a sympathetic overload in harmonic core number three. That simple. Now all I gotta do is figure out what the hell a sympathetic overload is, and for that matter, a harmonic core number three. Piece of cake for an electrical engineer. Too bad I designed ladies' shoes. Gonna go see the grease monkeys left alive in heat loss monitoring. See what I can shake out of their trees. So we got a new goal. all parasites who ever tried to walk in stone shoes. I'd explain the science that renders what you're trying to do impossible. But that would be like playing Mozart for a tree frog. So we've got... What are we... What are we got? It's... It seems like a splicer. Now, does this shotgun really make sense? Even if I get perfect hits and don't miss at all. See, that just, that whole kind of battle doesn't make sense. And none of these are ni nitro splicers, I guess. Hmm. Like, the shotgun really is only for 
fighting like big daddies and then that only leaves these and these in the mix for this. I suppose we could try the steel tip bolts uh, since we've got nothing else to shoot. Is there anything else to do here? I don't think so. Circuit breaker and door. Let's try and use it. Nope. So his door is totally... Who's shooting from where? The game has gotten really crazy about not giving me the right kind of bullets. What is the difference between a man and a parasite? A man builds, a parasite asks, where's my share? A man creates, a parasite says, what will the neighbors think? A man invents, a parasite says, watch out or you might tread on the toes of God. So, basically, Man, these bullets are just bouncing everywhere. Uh, basically, what a parasite is to Andrew Ryan is anyone who's not successful. If, if you're successful, you're a man. If you failed, if you don't have a good idea at the current moment to, to create something, uh, then you're a parasite. If you're not constantly, always, contributing in his own subjective way to society uh, then you're a parasite and it's really it really is just who he likes and who he doesn't so we got a corpse of a big daddy right here I kind of wish they had, like, the grenade launcher could have been an alternate fire from, like, the shotgun. The chemical thing could be different bullet modifications for several guns. The wrench is hand-to-hand. -hand. The camera should be its own separate button. Uh, actually, the camera shouldn't even be in the game. Ignore the lies There's just better ways you could have thought of this. Is See, he's still saying Atlas is coming back to life, and that, well, not Atlas, but uh, Rapture is coming back to life, and everything is succeeding according to plan. Now, the Hephaestus core that Greek mythology is, is fire, it's God, so I imagine they're using lava or from the maybe magma. So, my thing is not quite strong enough. Oops. That was not my intention. Oh, he's mad at me now. Gotta dodge and, and take a picture. I really didn't intend to bring that character into it, but whatever. Let's save a little sister while we're here. And see, at these lower levels, the, it's like, it doesn't even matter. Like, oh well, well, she's riding it off. 
Give me something. I in this close forward combat. It's quite a mess. See, now I think the hair color change is a mistake, and they should have all had that same hair color. They they've said that the game I've done worse myself. Thank you. For reminding me that the light of the world has not yet been snuffed out. I am sending a little one to help you on your way. Hmm. So, that's one down. That cost me a lot of life. It was definitely not intentional. Shooting anti personnel bullets, and these guys are still not going down. Let's see, we're back to regular bullets, I suppose. Let's go and hack this for sure. Come on, give me a good path this way. Ooh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna work as well as it should. Ooh. That one, that one, that one. I need a straight down path. There. One more piece. There it is. Did we get it? Yes, we did. So one of the things about those new audio things is they re-rendered them and took out some just noise in the remastered version. And because of that, I think that that's part of the reason why they, they are, let's see, do we buy it out? I think we just buy it out. Sometimes. It's better just to waste not waste your time. Plus I'm low on life anyway, so the last thing I wanna do is, is lose more life. Did I search this? Nope. 
so we don't need to drink or eat anything right now. A quarter can of this this thing that we're seeing I think is gonna come in play in a second. It's gonna be a special item we need to pick up. I think. Napalm. I need to use the chemical thrower I think a little bit more. Maybe on the next big daddy we see. And then here's another room. And here's a crowd of people. So chemical thrower rate of consumption or range. I guess rate of consumption. And here we go. Don't run away before I can get enough pictures of you. Creepiest thing in the game here. A little girl fall, running after a little girl taking pictures of her. Here's our reward. I suppose. Spliced up. Forgot. I believed in this place. I believed in Ryan. But when it got hard, Ryan didn't believe in rapture. Didn't believe in the great chain. He believed in power. And now this place is busto. And my girl is... Gone. Worse than gone. One of those... Things. So am I... Well, only one way to find out. So, that's kind of the perfect res response there to this. That one's booby trapped. Maybe that one's a dud. Another dud? Well, there's nothing you can do with that vending machine. But even people that, that agreed with his ideology were not spared his lunacy at the end. Here's a splicer, can I shoot him? Nope. Nope, you can't shoot through the floor. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe my upgraded damage finally has helped. Way too much dial dialogue and diaries here. The bottom of the seat in but where else well, could we be free from the clutching hands of the parasites? Where else could we build an economy that they would not try to control? A society that they would not try to destroy? It was not impossible to build rapture at the bottom of the sea. It was impossible to build it anywhere else. I think he makes a good point there. He if you wanted to go start a country somewhere, it's pretty difficult since all the land has been declared owned by some other country. At least one other country. It's like armor pits and rounds. I suppose if I remembered that I didn't have certain types of bullets and then searched again with a scavenger ability, that might save some things uh, and give me a, a few more opportunities to get a few more things. Here's the heat loss monitoring. So somebody's coming to get me, some more splicers. Splicers c under the control of... of... Ryan. See, if they just made... instead of making Andrew Ryan, if it was just Anne Rand, and this was just historical fiction, which it pretty much is anyway. Like when you're pitch black and you do incinerate, by the way, it still doesn't light up anything. Which makes no sense. If it was really Ayn Rand, instead, it would be a much more impactful story. Because then you would have a character that was so charismatic that even in this time frame of the series. They were all taking me out there. Any other oh, there are there more people running on? Behind me? Yeah, she would have been so charismatic to overcome the sexism of that time. So, yeah, I could totally imagine the same speeches done and meaning so much more if it was just some fictional and which you know, Anne Rand, I believe, was probably became famous when she was rather old, but I bet she wasn't much older than Ryan, Andrew Ryan. So we want to do some armor piercing here. Actually, no, I was going to do some chemical flame on electric drill or liquid magic drill. Oh, you big daddy. I slip in real gentle and dig a book or two from the tail. The Aussie. 
guess he never notices. And I ain't about to tell him. Seems like there's all kind of crazy stuff back there. Maybe... Maybe one day I'll get more ambitious. Let's try this. Certainly is keeping him in check very nicely. And saving and thank you, or or harvesting you. these little sisters. Actually, it's, it's kind of its own separate game, not very related. And the, the story had to stretch it rather crazily to even explain it. Here, we've been playing for nearly 20 minutes. It's time to save. Please don't crash. So, yep. I guess we'll go back to regular bullets here. Welcome Don't need to purchase anything. Well, I'm missing shotgun shells and regular shells, but again, I doubt that gonna help me. What if I come over here and up into this section? That's interesting. So the safe is something now the key to his office is Australia Day, but I have no idea what Australia Day is, so um, yeah, I don't think I can hack that quite literally. So I'll leave that one alone. Maybe I can find a auto hack tool somewhere else. So these guys do a lot of damage. And they've started being sneaky about Showing no up. second chance for the weak. None. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Is he up there? Howard! I think he's actually up at the top there. Let's see, and that's an incredibly difficult hack. Sure that guy's a dead. Over there, yeah. 
So this, this guy messed up and got killed. Oh, nope, and I lost. Hmm. Let's, let's try our toast this here. Well, I can't pick up that. See, like you can't even win. Look, there's there's probably not even but one path. Well, sometimes there's not even that one path. Uh. Let's see. How about this? Did that work? Nope. I don't know what to do. Is this really just jump over this? I definitely need an auto hack tool. I need a couple of them. Might as well put like one bullet in every corpse for a while. I don't know what we just did. We just got like information and that's it. That's it. And how do you get up over here? I guess you don't. Nothing over here. Is that you? You're That's just a lot of bullets. Like compare it to one, two, three, four, four anti-personnel bullets. I just don't have... I don't have anything that would help here. It's just kind of like... Before the final rat has eaten the last scrap of you, Rapture will return. I will lead a parade. Who was that, they'll say, as they point to the sad shit hanging on my wall? Who was that? Let's hear the say. I've begged Mr. Ryan to hand Fontaine two heuristics over to Atlas's boys as a peace offering. But the stupid sod won't listen to the reason. Instead, he's just splicing his mother. 
giving them more and tougher plasmids. There's an arms race on here in Rapture, but it's not about who can build the best guns and the biggest bombs, it's about who can become less of a man and more of a monster. Hmm. I suppose I'm not really taking a lot of damage here. So, that worked? And we didn't use any of these things, so we're still good. We keep seeing these things, but I don't think I'm doing anything with them for the while. I'll see you in the city. Go! You'll find nothing but darkness! And we have one more little sister to... to... Like one more little sister to save in this area. I want to just run up here and let's see if maybe we can just get really lucky. What if we... Electrobolt and then act. Start to act. Well, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. That is a shame. Is there one tonic in there or something that Welcome I just could really use? Probably. But maybe not. It, it would be a little unlike unlikely. A man built a city at the bottom of the sea. That's a marvel. Another man happens to be on a plane that crash lands on the same city in the middle of the ocean. Why, that sounds more like a miracle. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Does he have a little sister on it? With him? I don't believe he does right now. So. We'll just try to get as good of the pictures as possible. And we are getting 25% research data with both of the things. So that is actually working. I'm just gonna let that run wander around. Engineering slot. Let's see, reduce the difficulty when hacking turrets. Two view, fewer overload tiles. Reduce the prices in vending machines. One fewer alarm and one fewer overload when hacking. Two fewer alarms when hacking. Reduces the difficulty. I think I want two fewer alarms. You dog! Run! Where did you come from? Now the wrench still works. I haven't been playing with it for a while, but it still kind of works. Before we go any further this direction, like, no, I want to see if this one is going to call little sister because if he just pulls out the third little sister there's no reason not to get it right now Come on. 
little something. Come on, give me a little bit. All right, fine. Let's try this liquid. Here we go. Uh, that's not gonna work. How about some explosive? Oh, I'm out of heat seeking missiles. Uh, This doesn't quite work. So where's the Vita chamber? So that's my last forte in this area of needing to deal with... That is weird. Uh, needing to deal with the... The big daddies for a while. Until we get to the next section. Let's see, is there something we can purchase here? Try to purchase as much as possible, and then I want to get electric gel. A lot of the, the electric gel obviously is the best for the chemical thrower because that's the only thing that stuns them and puts you out of danger. Here's the rigged one. Let's see, we can buy a physical tonic slot. And this is our first one. The state kits also give you Eve. Uh, you gain a little extra health from stacks and bandages. Uh, move faster and swing your wrench much faster. The security cameras and turrets take longer to see you. Interesting. You gain extra health and from stacks and bandages. Every time you hack something, you get some Eve. Let's see, security evasion and Eve link are both very nice. So I'm going to take a security evasion, but I also want to, next time I find the gene swap section, I want to switch those out. Liquid nitrogen. Fill up on that. And I think we just went full circle. And 
guess this is the way we go. Even when you're playing medium, it's not a lot of a lot of challenge. You die a few times, which I've been a proponent of games where you never die. It's just impossible. Well, I completely hate games where you you can die. You can you can certainly make it too obvious if you make a game where you can, can not die. As long as the games aren't being incredibly obvious about it. As long as it's it's just making it impossible to lose, regardless of your worst possible gameplay. There's Australia Day. So, zero one twenty six. So, obviously, the game had to tell us that information because I seriously doubt too many American or even other country people would have that just knowledge in their head. Uh, is that Australian Independence Day? Or is that some other... i put this one here, this one here, and this one here. It's 126. Or, yeah, it's gotta be 0 126. There's a big old pipe. There's some more of these iconic jails. I imagine they were gonna be there was gonna be more of this going on opening these things. But I could see also how you would get bored of doing this really fast. See, can we do this hack? Uh, this is not gonna work. Uh, we've screwed up here. Yep. I have totally screwed up there, so now I need to find the right piece to just not set off an alarm. I think we could probably pull this off though, if we're just lucky enough. But it is really random, this whole setup. Right piece there and there. Frag grenades. Let's just get right up to him. If he's not protecting the little sister, he doesn't care. I didn't know we could take pictures of turrets. So, have I not researched turrets? Let's try to get him in an action shot. Notice as soon as he starts doing an action, it got slightly above the score limit. That's all I want from these pictures. Let's 
now, where do we go down? This way. Done. Okay, let's tell me that works. Here we go. This will work. That one. We need a straight up piece, which is this, and then this, then this. And if I can find two more straight pieces, then we've got it. Start that second hack. Give me nothing in the way of trouble. Come on. This way. And we just need a couple more pieces. There, and there. It is really weird that in my recent desires to play a pipe game, the, the one game that has a pipe game in it is this nine-year-old first-person shooter game. look at like all that we have we have hypnotized big teddy too and we don't even have like a metal plasmid I don't think we have scrounger evening to eve saver medical expert to hackers delight and security games and I think hackers delight can be at least removed replaced with hackers delight too at the very least but we could do medical expert. First aid gives you slightly more health. I think that probably is the best for us. A double Eve link would be kind of nice, but we don't use our plasmids that much. Um, extra nutrition three, hackers delight two. Uh, security evasion two. Let's see. We'll see security cameras and turrets take longer to see you and I think we should do a second e medical expert just to get that done now we have vending expert 2 speedy hacker security expert 2 safe cracker and alarm expert and what would I want to change that with? Hmm. Nothing. I'm actually really low on tonics there. I need to purchase more. And then we have Photographer's Eye, Wrench Jockey 2, Photographer's Eye, and Armored Shell. And the only thing I could imagine is getting Wrench Jockey 1. And we need one more expansion for plasmids, one more expansion for engineering, and two more combat expansions. And we'll be done. And there's this down here, which then comes out this way. Down here. 
Man, these things do not fall easily. Hmm, I don't think I can get out of that. Interesting. And then there's a crawl space down here. How does one enter that this crawl space? Let's do something right there. Nope. Let's do Well you took his picture. Right. Space door hidden. Let's hear what this guy has to say, then we'll wrap up. I tracked the problem that was blocking the tubes here, and you'll never believe where I ended up. <laughs> the damn farmer's market, clear on the other end of Rapture. I fixed it right up and installed some new gaskets. Oof, what a mess. Anyway, the code is 0512 if you ever need to get back in there to do maintenance. So that, like, that's the code to the farmer's market area that was a long, long time ago. It's a shame I can't take pictures of these turrets. Maybe that's why I don't have any progress there. So. Time to save again, please don't crash. And that's gonna be it for this recording. We've saved all the little sisters and we just have the director's commentary. And then we'll move on to, I believe there's at least a couple more areas after this, several, I think several more hours of gameplay, yes. Uh, although I might be confusing some of the gameplay from from Bioshock 2. Yeah, we'll have to find out. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name right -o. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.